our journey through Ohio continues today with a cooking lesson from one of oh, Cleveland's wow. finest. Sorry, there's a bug. He's a James Beard <laughs> yes, awarded Iron Chef cookbook author and the owner of several restaurants, mm. including his hometown hotspot, Mabel's Barbecue. Please welcome our good friend, Michael Simon. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, that was a lot. Such yeah. a nice yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, Ray, baby. Thanks for being here. What are we making today? So Where do we start? This is a dish called This is Cleveland. We feature it at Mabel's, our barbecue restaurant, because we wanted to give Mabel's a little Eastern European flair. Mm. And this is a dish I grew up with my grandfather that used to make it. So kielbasa, kielbasa. smoked pork, and ham hock. Mm. Ryan, how do you know your knife skills feel <laughs> this today? This is the only thing I know how to do. He loves his knife <laughs> skills. So, so I'll cut be that over onion here. And I'll be though. over here doing this. So in the pan, a little bit of butter. Okay. And then to that, onion. Onion. And you could dump in that. Yeah. You want to dump in that cabbage? Though? Cabbage, sure, I yep. love it. And then we're just, and then this just starts to cook down. Mm -hmm. And then I also have over there some coriander and chili. Flakes. Coriander and chili. Let it rip. Mm. Now, really, the secret to this dish is mm -hmm. I have cider and sauerkraut. The real right. deal sauerkraut fermented with all the delicious probiotics the stuff, and yeah. good stuff. Yeah. And we blend, we're not going to do it because oh, we blend it here. We blend it till it's smooth. Okay. All right. So then this becomes our stock for our like stew, for our no. This is Cleveland stew. And we pour it in and it gets all that tartness from the sauerkraut and the sweetness from the cider. We just let it all cook Yeah, down. and you could stir that up. Ryan, we don't even need that onion, but you're doing a hell of a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my own world, but thank you. I mean, you are the best. You're my favorite sous chef because you just put your head down He really go. does. Are you guys does. still on? We're still, yeah. So look, okay, in go. here, in here, right? We, so we, we cook oh, those. Oh, flavor, up. flavor, We put right. the kielbasa. We put wow. the pork. You do it all. We, in that. And, oh. and. Our little ham hock, mm -hmm. and then we put the lid on like this, and yeah. we just let this simmer for Ooh. about 45 minutes. You could also put it in 325 degree oven. Quit looking at my kielbasa that I, way, I Ripa. Can't, <laughs> can't take my eyes off it. Okay, so this has been simmering for 45 mm -hmm. minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So everything gets tender, all the flavor works in, oh my and the kraut and the sauerkraut and the cabbage. Wow. And then we have one. What I like to do to serve it is I break the meat down so, so that so, so you can get a good size. scoop in the bowl. Yeah. Now this mm -hmm. is another. The recipe for the dumplings will be on your website. These are my grandfather. These are my pap's dumplings. Okay. So you put the dumplings down. Okay. Ooh, take put that on top, and the, the sauce stew. is absorbed by the dumpling. Yes. I see where it's at. KellyRyan.com. Okay. We'll for be the right recipe. back. Stick around. Stick around. We're gonna we're gonna taste it when we come back. Hey, uh, Chef Michael Simon, thanks for being here. Watch Thank Barbecue you. USA and Michael Simon Simon's dinners <laughs> on the Food Network.